Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are back with the underrated weapon series and the last video once again got over 400 likes. You guys have just been absolutely killing it every single episode so let's go ahead and get this one to 300 likes as well and if we do then we will do another underrated weapons video. It looks like you guys really enjoy these and I'm really happy because they've been some of my favorite videos to make recently and I honestly just cannot thank you guys enough for all of the amazing support on the series it's good to see you guys enjoying a series that i enjoy making so thank you all once again but today we're going to be using something that i know quite a few of you have wanted me to do and i do agree that it is a very underrated weapon and that weapon is the muzzle loader now a lot of people overlook this thing simply because it takes quite a long time to reload and although i do agree that it does take a bit of time to reload the thing which can dock a few points off of it uh, for like its overall rating if you uh, wanted to go with a rating system but i feel like it kind of makes up for that in just the sheer amount of power that this thing holds. It uh, regularly can drop pretty much anything in the class 4 to 8 range and although the round ball isn't quite as powerful as the mini ball, it still can be pretty good for those class 3 animals as well. So we're going to try and use both of the ammo types today and uh, just showcase how both of them do, but uh, we're, pr we're primarily going to be using the mini ball because that's what most people use and it is just absolutely incredibly powerful so i guess without any further ado let's go find some animals and take them out with the muzzle loader and i did want to kind of switch things up today and go out to t avaroa since it's been a little while since we've hunted here and it is one of my favorite maps to hunt and we've got a pretty decent level 4 sika deer up here so i think this is going to be the first thing that we try to take out with our muzzle loader and if we're able to we might try to get a second one if they come back before uh before I finish reloading, which is very possible with how slow it reloads. Alright, so we're about 140 meters away. I think this is going to be the perfect range to take this thing out at. So let's go ahead and just... And just like that, it is completely just deleted. I don't even know if that was a fair fight, to be honest. Uh, this thing's kind of overpowered for something like a Sika Deer, but hey, it lets you use it on them, so we might as well showcase its full power on a Sika Deer. And I think we might actually be able to get another one as they run away. Yeah, we can at least see what this'll do. And wow, even fleeing away like that, it still just absolutely dropped it. Kind of curious what happened there. Did we literally go through the entire deer or did we happen to clip a left lung? I'm very curious. But this little one right here was a pretty decent level 4 and we ended up getting double lung. Not bad at all. Hit the top end of that estimate at 151.20 and that is a pretty decent looking Sika deer down on the ground. And as for this one right here, this poor thing just got absolutely deleted as it was running away. I'm really curious what we even hit. Wow. Okay. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. So, you could probably Texas heart shot these things if you were close enough, I would imagine. I bet at 50 meters you could easily get a Texas heart shot on a Sika deer. I hope so at least because that would be pretty incredible if we're able to do that. That is just purely impressive that we managed to go completely through its backside and hit liver. That's kind of crazy. Ooh, there we go. That's a really good looking level 4 there. Now unfortunately I think it is trying to run away from its drink zone because the drink time just ended but uh, we're going to try and get up close enough to where we can take this thing out. I guess we will try to stop it real quickly and then run up as close as we can. I don't know what happened, but they decided to come back. I guess maybe they weren't done drinking. That's a little bit strange. They started running away and now they came back. Uh, this will give us a chance to test out the 200 meter zero distance and see how it does. It should do just as well as it did at 150. And yeah, that thing dropped immediately. Well, let's see what the damage is. I'm guessing it's going to be pretty much the same as the first one. And yeah, we got double lung heart. Absolutely obliterated that thing. Now, there's a few reasons that I decided to come to Tiawaroa today. One of them being I am looking for an albino Sika deer male still. I killed one a long time ago, but it was a small level 2 and I'd like to get something that's actually decent sized for an albino. 
And the other thing that we're looking for today is also a melanistic red deer because that's something we've been grinding for for ever since I started YouTube pretty much. And at that at this point, it's been like a year and a half. So that's something that we're also going to be looking for. So hopefully we can find one of those today. I highly doubt either of them will show up, but it's worth at least coming here and seeing if we can get some type of progress towards one of those trophies. And if nothing else, there's also a couple diamonds I still need to get here, like the feral pig. Well, we've got a red deer hind deer. If we can make a shot through these trees, then we will do it. And that looked pretty good there. And as you can see, the muzzle odor is probably the best thing that you could use on a red deer. I believe it kills them much quicker than the 30 out 6 or the 303. It's just a great gun. And although this thing may have quite a long reload time, and if you miss the first shot, you're pretty much out of luck. The one thing that really makes it stand out is the fact that it's probably the most reliable thing to take a diamond out with. And the reason I say that is because it's got an immense amount of penetration and it also kills things incredibly quick. It's definitely one of the most reliable things you could use provided you're within that 200 meter range. It's just unmatched within 200 meters. There's really no competitor to it for class 4 to 8 animals and uh, even the class 3s if you use the round ball. It's just so good, and I really don't know why more people don't use it when they're shooting diamonds because it's definitely, like I was saying, the most reliable thing to take a diamond out with. It's just such a good thing to use on them. Alright, so we got ourselves a few seek -a deer right here, and I want to test if we can get a Texas heart shot. I don't know if we did, but we definitely killed it, so we at least hit liver and probably every other organ in its path. Well, let's go ahead and see what happened here. I think we had to have got at least close to hitting the lungs and looks like it was actually the same as last time we just got to the liver. So maybe there is no way to actually Texas hard shot. In fact, this one penetrated less. That's interesting. We were closer, but it penetrated less. I guess we'll have to test this out a little bit more, but I mean, Either way, you can reliably get a liver shot straight through its butt, so that's interesting at least. Well, we now have a fallow deer up ahead of us, so let's go ahead and see how it does on a fallow deer. I'm assuming it's going to do pretty good like it did on the Sika, but probably not quite as good because they are a little bit tougher than the Sika deer, but I suppose we're about to find out. And as expected, it just dropped it on the spot, but the question is, is the penetration the same on the fallow deer? And the answer is, yes, it did have the same penetration on a fallow deer. Uh, yeah, exactly the same. If we shot that broadside, it would have almost exited the other side. That's uh, pretty good. Not gonna lie, the muzzleloader is just a powerhouse. I, once again, I don't know why people don't use it as much as they should. Uh, I'm guilty of that as well. I don't use it nearly as much as I should because it's honestly such a great rifle to use on stuff especially diamonds like I was saying because you pretty much know that any angle it's gonna penetrate through so I really don't understand why most people don't use it for diamonds and I need to start using it for diamonds more myself but we got another fallow deer right there so I mean we might as well go for round two on the fallow and just kind of <laughs> see it drop them again well, let's uh, take a look at the damage here. Yeah, just as I expected uh, through the scapula or actually no, that was the humerus and into both lungs. Absolutely destroyed this poor fallow deer. All right, so I decided to move on to the feral goat and just kind of see how the round ball will do against them because you can't actually use the mini ball on these things. They're one class too low, so this is going to be interesting. We're going to be using a much weaker uh, type of ammunition with the muzzleloader and I guess we'll see how it does. As far as I remember, it's not like too terribly worse, but it definitely has less power than the mini ball does. I want to get this guy right here because that's definitely the nicest of the feral goats that's right here. Uh, it's nowhere near being like a diamond or anything like that, but it's uh, definitely the nicest one. Let's see how this does. If uh, it would stop bouncing around like that. That's just really strange. And there we go. It still absolutely destroyed it, so I guess that's just a testament to how crazy the muzzleloader is, even with the round ball ammunition that nobody uses. It still did really well. Jeez, this poor thing just absolutely crumbled in its place. Let's see what the damage is. So that was just a single lung, 
and this thing dropped so fast. That's wild. That is crazy that we hit single lung and it did that. That's just beyond impressive. You know, we might as well try the round ball out on a fallow deer. So before it flees, let's just uh, do that real quick. And wow, it dropped the fallow deer as well. You know, I'm starting to think I underestimated the power of the round ball. I guess its biggest uh, downside is just the range. Because it only goes up to 100 meters on the zero distance, which definitely limits it, but it really did well on that fallow deer. I'm impressed. Very, very impressed, honestly. So let's go ahead and check this out. I'm guessing it just destroyed it once again. Yeah, it's just a single lung. That's crazy. Single lung did that. That's just, like I was saying with the last one, beyond impressive. So for this last part of the video, I decided to move over to single player so we could actually switch the time to red deer time because I was having quite a difficult time finding any red deer in multiplayer. So we decided to jump over here to single player and we're going to try the round ball out on a red deer and just kind of see how it works. I really don't know how this is going to go. It can go clear up to class seven and red deer are class six, so it should do fine. Uh, the problem is going to be getting close enough right here, and I think we're probably not going to be able to move much closer. We'll just kind of see how it does from here, although this angle's not amazing. Uh, let's actually try to get it to move a little bit, and then once it gives us a broadside shot, we will take it. You know, why not? Let's try a weird angle like this and just see if it can penetrate into the vitals. I, I don't know how this is going to go. I guess we'll find out. I could not, oh, I was going to say I could not even begin to imagine, but I think that actually hit lung. Well, here it is. Let's uh, see what it did. I think, yeah, we definitely got lung. You know, that's kind of impressive that it was actually able to get into a lung at that angle. That's uh, not bad at all. Definitely better than I was expecting it to do at that angle. You know, call me crazy, but I think that right there might be a diamond level four. I came over here because I wanted to test out the round ball a little bit more on the feral goats and uh, just kind of see what it would do at different angles. And then we've got this guy right here. I don't think it's going to be a diamond, but there's always that chance I have heard that the forest can make it. So it's worth at least seeing if it is. And I suppose this right here is going to be probably the closest we'll be able to get. So we will zero for 100 and hopefully we can get in there. Yeah, I'd say that got in there. That definitely got right where we needed it to. All right, well, let's check out the damage. This thing absolutely dropped on the spot. Absolutely did not stand a chance against the round ball. And, you know, I have such a hard time telling if these are the white ones or the albinos, so I'm not even going to begin to guess what it could be. It is just the white, but it scored 201.90. That is a big goat. And the round ball did great on this one, just like it did the last. And I think this was a little better angle than the last one we took. So, I mean, I kind of expected that. Well, once again, that's a really good looking level four right there. I highly doubt it'll be a diamond, but I mean, once again, it's worth trying to take it out at least and just see if maybe it'll make it. Because I've seen them make it before for other people. And I just want to believe that one of these days we'll be able to get one as well. And I think I want to try a frontal shot here. Although, it's not going to give us one, unfortunately. Most likely, this thing won't make it, but it's worth trying. Just to see if we can maybe get one to make it, and... That's the first time one didn't drop. Uh, I'm a little worried we might have spine shot that thing. That's not good. I mean, that's definitely vital blood. That's the first time I've seen one just run off, though, after we shot it. That's uh, definitely different. I mean, at least we still got vitals. It's just very strange that it uh, didn't drop it on the spot. Well, I'm not sure what that secret ear is doing either. And what is that one doing? I mean, I guess we'll take it and then check out this guy right here, which is so close to diamond. Wow, that was incredibly close. 207.10. Man, that sucks. Uh, we did get left lung, but... It didn't die immediately, which is a bit odd. And then as for this Sika deer, this is the first thing that the round ball has actually got double lung on. And it also got liver and stomach in the same shot. That is kind of crazy. So if you're close, it'll do really well. 
Oh my gosh, there we go. There's a level five and it's now time to get disappointed with a, uh, another probably troll since that's what all these level fives end up being for me. It's uh, very rare that I actually have one of these make it so I'm not really having too high of hopes here. But you know, maybe we will get lucky and that actually is one of the fur types that I've been wanting to get a diamond of so if this does make it I'll be pretty happy but I highly doubt it will. They almost always troll for me. They're definitely the only animal that I can say I went on a 21 troll streak with, which is just absolutely unheard of in any other species. I had 21 troll goats in a row until we finally broke that streak and then I was able to get a few diamonds after it as well. So after we got out of that kind of dead streak of just 21 trolls, we did eventually start finding some diamonds, but they almost always troll. So I'm not really expecting too much out of this, but I'll be very happy if it does make it because that is a beautiful black brown goat. All right, this should be good right here. I'm hoping that we've got a good enough angle. We should at least be able to get through there. I doubt the tree will block it. We'll just wait for it to lift its head up and then take the shot. And I think we should be fine. We might need to aim slightly low, so let's uh, try that. I think we should have got it. I can't see any reason why we wouldn't have. And... Oh, that's concerning. That's very concerning. Like, incredibly concerning. Okay, I think we missed. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, no. We did hit him, but it wasn't vitals. Oh, that's not good. That's got me worried. Um, yeah, it looks like we shot the wrong one, actually. You know, in the end, that's probably going to be good for us, so... I mean, I guess that's good. <laughs> that's kind of strange, though. I didn't even see her. I wonder what went wrong. So after a time reset and spooking it off one more time, we finally have it coming in and we should probably be able to get a good shot this time. And this has been such a long chase for what is most likely a troll, so I really hope this isn't a troll. This has been quite the uh, hunt trying to get this thing to actually cooperate. And we should probably try to get its attention real quickly. Uh, let's zero to 75. And then whenever it gives us a broadside, we'll take the shot. You know, that should work out right there. And yeah, we got him down. Finally. That uh, took way longer than I expected it to. That was about 20 to 25 minutes of just chasing after this guy. I really hope it's worth it. But as I was saying, I don't really have too high of hopes. Now the question is, will this guy end up being a diamond or will it be 25 minutes of wasted time for a troll? And it's actually a diamond and a pretty big one. Okay, that's not what I expected. I did not expect that at all. 212.30, it's a pretty decent diamond and we finally have a black brown diamond. I've been trolled by like three or four black brown fur types and this is one of the fur types I've been trying to get for so long. So it's about time we finally get one, and it's a pretty decent sized one at that. This is definitely going to replace one of the feral goats that's in our main lodge because this is way better than a lot of the ones that we currently have. Finally, we get to remove one of the ones from this wall and add a brand new one, and I believe this guy right here is probably going to be the one that we will take down because I got to keep the mixed one up there. Uh, we got to keep this one just because it's got a very unique uh, set of horns, and then this is our biggest one at 221, so that obviously has to stay, which leaves this guy. He does score higher than the one we're about to put here, but he's not one of the fur types I particularly like, so let's just uh, put him right there. I think that is definitely a better option than our previous one that looks really good so happy we finally got one of these but to be honest i really expected it to troll i was not thinking we were actually going to get a diamond out of it because it happens so little we get way too many trolls and not enough diamonds of these feral goats so i really had no expectations with that but I guess that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comments below. Also, be sure to like the video because we are trying to get to 300 likes so we can do another one of these. You guys have been absolutely killing it and I've really enjoyed making this series. So 
I really, really appreciate each and every one of you that enjoys the videos and clicks like on them. Uh, also, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss another video. And yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the muzzleloader, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!